Live from the KFOX 14 studios in El Paso and Las Cruces, you're watching KFOX 14 News at 5. I told her that, uh, you know, she was an attractive woman, and if uh, worse, worse, if worse came to worse, that anybody would give her $1,000 for a couple of hours in the privacy of a hotel room. First on Fox Tonight, the Doniana County Treasurer testifies this afternoon in his civil trial and tells the jury he did not offer a former employee money for sex. Good evening, I'm Genevieve Curtis. Erica and Robert are off. A Las Cruces jury is now deliberating whether or not David Gutierrez is guilty of soliciting sex. KFOX 14 News at 5's Ashley Cullinane is live outside the courtroom with the Treasurer's testimony. The jury has been deliberating for about an hour now, and before this, during closing arguments, David Gutierrez's defense attorney referenced Donald Trump's controversial remarks about women. He said if the president-elect's remarks are not considered grossly immoral, these can't be. Today, Gutierrez insisted he was just joking with Luz Olivia Nunez, who was working as a cashier at the time. He said he was just trying to make her feel better because she was struggling with money, but Nunez testified the 61 year old would repeatedly hit on her. She said Gutierrez once offered her $2,000 to spend a few hours in a hotel room with him. Today, the treasurer took the stand, saying he told Nunoz she was attractive and could make easy money in a hotel room. He says she did not react how he thought she would with laughter. Why did you say that to her? Again, she was uh, very upset. She was tearful, and I was trying to lift her spirits. Why did you think that some, saying something like that would lift her spirits? I thought it was like a compliment to her. How did she take it? She didn't take it like I expected her to. If this jury finds Gutierrez guilty on corruption charges, the treasurer will be removed from office immediately. Otherwise, his term ends December 31st. Gutierrez's family is here, including his wife. If a verdict is reached, we'll bring you that and any developments tonight at 9. Reporting live in Las Cruces, Ashley Cullinane, KVOX 14 News at 5.